Configuring console connection software using Apple computers. By the time you're done here, you will be able to configure a console port connection from an Apple computer. All right, well, I just walked through the configuration of console port connections on Windows devices, and then I realized, you know, we live in a diverse world now with Windows and Macintosh being pretty prevalent in the network industry. So I wanted to show you quickly how to set up a console connection on a Macintosh or Apple device. OS X is the operating system. Once again, we have our Cisco SG300 switch, 10 port. I've got my two hardware components, a USB to serial cable and uh, the console cable, which is a dual DB9, uh, both female connections. One of those will plug into the USB to serial. One of them will plug into the console port on the back of that switch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is unwrap this console cable and get it all connected. So I'm gonna plug this into the back of the SG300 switch. And if you have the Cisco style console cable, actually, I've got one sitting right over here. This guy right here, if you're doing uh, Cisco enterprise grade stuff or this ubiquity switch right here has an RJ45 on the other end. Uh, this one actually comes in with a DB9 female, which will go into your USB to serial. And this has an RJ45 adapter. So if you have a switch like this that has the console port connection that needs RJ45, you simply swap out the cable, right? So I'll then take this and I'll run this over here to the other side of the laptop. Actually, hey, I have a USB port on this side. So I'm gonna plug uh, this guy into the USB port and connect it to the console cable. Now, uh, on Windows, we had to go download PuTTY, which was a terminal program. Uh, Macintosh actually, Macintosh, Apple, uh, actually includes a uh, terminal program itself. It's since it's built on FreeBSD or a, a Linux-based operating system. Uh, we can do that. I'm going to increase my font size because I know uh, many of you don't like things micro size like I do. So what you want to do first is make sure that OS X has recognized this USB device. Uh, one thing that you'll find with Apple is Apple likes to work with Apple, meaning if it's an Apple thing, it works really well. If it's not, well, it's not. So I'm going to do a uh, ls forward slash dev forward slash star USB star. Um, what that does is it looks in the devices directory, which let me just do an ls slash dev right there. And you can see there's all kinds of stuff. Essentially, that dev directory lists every single device that is plugged in or integrated into this uh, OSX software somehow, right? And since I did uh, USB, I, I said, show me anything with USB. There's nothing listed. What does that mean? It means I don't have the driver. So unlike Windows, I'm going to have to go on out to the web and I'm going to Google. This is a cable matter. So let's do cable matters, USB to serial driver. There we go. Uh, looks like we got a download site. And uh, USB 3.0, and I can tell you it's not. By the way, USB 3.0 is almost always blue. Um, this is an older device, so let's just do a uh, search serial. There we go. USB 2.0, okay, DB9 serial adapter, good. Uh, Mac OS X, and Apple... <laughs> I love Apple um, in so many ways, um, but every single time they switch an operating system, something usually breaks, uh, at least for me. Uh, but but in this case, it looks like they've got one a universal driver, so I'm going to just download this guy for Sierra. Let's see what I have. I have uh, OS X Sierra. Good. Uh, so we'll let that guy download. Oh, it's done. So I'll open it up, and it now... <laughs> okay, i got to clean up my downloads folder. Scroll on down, there it is, and we'll get this package installed. All right, go through the necessary steps. Type in my password. And it's gonna restart my computer when it's all said and done too. So we'll let that install happen, we'll restart, and we'll tune back in when it's finished. All right, I'm back up, and let's see if we now have magic. So I'm going to open up the terminal. Let's make that a little bit bigger font. I'll do a ls slash dev slash star USB star. And there it is. Now it's recognizing this. And by the way, if I unplug this USB and hit the up arrow, it's gone, right? And I plug it back in and hit the up arrow. And it's there. So that tells me this is the USB to serial that I have plugged in right there. Uh, now, the beauty of OS X here 
is it has a utility built into it. It's called the screen utility. It's actually a pretty old terminal emulator. So I'll type in uh, screen forward slash, and then you tell it what device you want to use for your terminal emula emulation. I'm gonna type in dev forward black, forward, forward, I can't even talk, tty.usb serial. Then you type in what baud rate you'd like to use. So I'm gonna type in 9600 baud, which is what that Cisco switch uh, liked, and I'll hit the enter key, and boom, I'm sitting right there uh, connected to the Cisco switch, and I can type in Cisco Cisco, which is the default username and password for that device on the console port, and I am in. So let's hit a summary of the process we just walked through. First off, physical connections. Get the USB to serial cable and console cable connected to the laptop and the switch. Now, one thing I don't have on this summary is to see if the drivers are installed. Open that terminal program and do an ls, that's a listing of forward slash dev, forward slash anything with USB in it. Chances are pretty good, unless you've done this before, the drivers won't be there. So download and install the needed USB to serial drivers. Once those are in, you should see your device show up. It may be labeled USB serial, it may be labeled something else. It's all dependent on the manufacturer of that hardware. So find out what that name is and type in screen forward slash dev forward slash TTY. Actually, you saw uh, in there, there was a CU file as well. I'm not after that one, I'm after the TTY. Then you type in whatever name you saw when you did that LS command. It's probably gonna be USB serial, followed by your baud rate. Now I told you that you will be able to configure a console port connection from an Apple computer. So now it's your turn. Ah, I should have put an Apple computer there. That's all right. You can handle it. Access the console port interface of one of the switches that you've purchased and document the settings for that switch. If it has a certain speed or any other relevant information, you want to put it on a sticker and label the bottom of that device.